glory. What separates us? What separates us? See, we have a partnership. We, 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 we're not simply coming together or we meet together. Man's first sin separated God from man. Yes. Man's second sin separated man from man. Right. Yes, yes. You see, and Jesus said, let's bring it back together. The first sin was disobedience to God. Yes. The second sin was between Cain and Abel. Yes. And when that happened, God says, I will set you away from here so no one will kill you. Now see, that separated man from man. And man has not been able to live together peacefully since that time. Amen. And why? Because one was separated from God and the other was not. He gave the right sacrifice unto God and the other did not and jealousy came. Yeah. You see, when we become separate from God, it's easy for you to do damage to your brother. Amen. But when we are connected and we are one with God, it is of the most and the greatest difficulty for you to harm your brother. Amen. Why? Because you are harming yourself and you are speaking Amen. against God. And we're dwelling together. You know, it's like Sister Linda said, at one time, she could have said something to this man. But now she said, God loves you. And in saying that, she said, and since God loves you, I'm in love you. And what does that say? I am in God, so I must also love, love you. Amen. You see, that brings man back together. That's why he wants us to dwell together in unity. Amen. Unity is being one in Christ. Unity is being one together. Oh, this is so important. Think of all the times in the Bible when there wasn't unity. Amen. Cain and Abel. Ishmael and Isaac. Mm -hmm. Esau and Jacob. Yes. These situations occurred even in the book of Genesis. They didn't get very far before they had disunity in some things. And so now it's a matter of him saying, let's bring unity to everything. And he wants to bring unity. It's not something that's artificial. There are some people say, yeah, we're together. That may be artificial. We'll know when we're together when we're all thinking the same thing and doing the same thing. Just like they did when they started with the Tower of Babel. They were of one voice, one mind, one design. And when they spoke something, it started to happen. And so we should look at this and say, what do you mean by this God? And Ephesians 4, he says this. This is what unity means in the Word of God. One body, seven different things. Seven is the number of perfection. One body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God. When we come into unity and understanding all of those things, then, then, then God is in the midst of us and we can see things start to happen that have not happened before. With man, it is impossible. But with God, with God, all things are possible. Church, let's start coming together. Church, let's stay together. Church, I'm not just talking about people in this place. I'm talking about the church as a whole. Yeah. These are words that need to be sent into the atmosphere. These are words that need to be sent out there. Those of you who believe, and those churches that believe, there's only one way to be baptized. And if you didn't get baptized, that way you're not saved. There's only this way to do this. There's only that way to do this. There's only this way to do it. Let's look at the truth of the Word of God and see what God is saying about it. Focus on Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So there's one body. There is one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God. And we focus on that as a church of believers, as Christians. Nothing. Nothing will be impossible for us to do. 
That's where God wants us to go. Are you ready to go there with me? Amen. Are you ready to go there with me? Amen. Glory to God. The world says there's two ways to be united. One is frozen together. The other is melted together. That's why they call the United States a melting pot. We haven't melted too good yet, have we? No, we have not. But there is only one way to come together, and that's it, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Stand with me.